Hey everyone, in today's video I'm doing an art supply haul of some things that I've gotten over the last few weeks and months either on sale or from friends and family or whatever. Starting off here, there's uh, some stretch canvas and canvas panels from Michaels and Walmart. The stretch canvas is 16 by 20 and the canvas panels are 12 by 16. The 5 pack I recently got at a discounted price or on sale or whatever from Michaels, so that was cool. And then we have some Canson watercolor paper. It's cold press and it is a 9 by 12 and it seems like it's pretty thick paper so I think it'll do great with watercolors. I have yet to use it though so we shall see. And then also some Canson mixed media paper for pen and, paper, pen and pencil, then acrylics and watercolor. I have used a few pages out of that and it seems to do okay. And I also decided to get a cheapy kind of like tablecloth, table cover thing, just like a little plastic vinyl-y looking thing. Pretty thin, but I think it'll do great. And you can put that under the easel or over the table to avoid making a mess, especially if it's not your table or whatever. Like in my situation, it's my roommate's table. And then I also found these little bitty cute canvases. I just thought they were adorable at Walmart. And the tablecloth is also from Walmart. But anyway, I don't know their exact size. I want to say they're probably like an inch by two inches, but I could be wrong. And again, they were they were pretty cheap. I just thought they were cute though, and I just wanted to pick them up. <laughs> I've never seen canvas that small. And then I have this watercolor brush pen thingy, like watercolor barrel brush. And the it's really soft on the edge there and then you can just fill it up the barrel the handle part with water and then I also bought a jelly roll pen also from Michaels it is so you can do like little highlight parts on images it's kind of cool I've never used one before so I thought I'd give it a go and I think it might have been on sale at Michaels too whenever I picked it up not too long ago but yeah it's pretty cool so Recently I've also been wanting to do more palette knife paintings, so I got some plastic palette knives of some different sizes and shapes, and they came in like a pack, so they were all together, and they were really cheap, and I believe they came from Walmart, so I'm excited to do some palette knife paintings. I've only done one, I th yeah, I've used one, but I haven't used the other ones yet. And then some cheap little uh, fine detail brushes, acrylic brushes which could come in handy for those little mini canvases as well as doing fine details on other stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I also got some gloss medium which can use be used for varnishing your canvases after you paint on them and your paintings or for like washes and stuff and I haven't used it yet so I'm not sure if I'm going to like it so I might end up, if I don't like it, I might try and get like a semi-gloss or a matte but we'll see how that goes and I I think that came from Walmart as well. And then I also got some paints, which uh, these are the colors that I don't really have. I mean, I have some other cadmium colors, but not these. That's a yellow ochre from Artist Loft, and that was from Michaels, and it was on sale. And then I also got some Liquitex paints, and that's a cadmium red deep hue. And then I also got the burnt umber. And I've never used this color before, so I'm kind of excited to see what I can do with that. I think those are the 4 ounce bottles. And then I also got from Walmart, they were really cheapy ones, this little apple barrel uh, like acrylic craft paint. And this particular one is Royal Violet. And then I also got another one that was Purple Iris. So I mean, they're they're very similar in shade, but one's a little bit darker or lighter than the other, so I just, I like those. Purple's one of my favorite colors, so decided to go ahead and pick those up. They were pretty cheap from Walmart. So, and then I also got, let's see here, some acrylic gesso, and I've never used this before either, and I believe this also came from Walmart. And basically you can use it as like a primer type thing for your canvases before you paint. Or if you paint something you don't like it, just paint over it. 
with the gesso and then I also got some frog tape which is basically painters tape you know you can put it down and section off parts of your painting or use it for like straighter lines and then you know it's, that's pretty much what it looks like it's I think that one's about an inch wide but anywho and then yes I am narrating this over my recorded video because the camera, the microphone on my camera kind of sucks. And then I also, I didn't buy this specifically for art, but it's just like a little um, spaghetti sauce jar that I decided to start using for paint water so I can better tell when the paint water needs to be switched out. But thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.